the Kachin Independence Army defends its position near Laiza in northern Myanmar, fighting against Myanmar's army as it has done intermittently for 60 years. The fight for autonomy in the ethnic Kachin area is showing no signs of waning after a ceasefire broke down last year, even as other ethnic rebels are signing peace deals with the new nominally civilian government. The United Nations estimates up to 55,000 people have been internally displaced by the fighting and they are in desperate need of aid. UN and local NGOs have delivered six convoys of food, shelter and medicine to those stranded in camps. But due to the worsening security, the UN has been unable to deliver anything since the end of last month. The head of the UN mission in Myanmar says he's in talks with the government to try to help those in need. Many of them are staying in hilly tracks along, along the hills and in, uh, in very temporary shelters uh, with the tarpaulin provided by one of the relief agencies. So you can imagine that if the rains come and the high winds come, that these are subject to be blown away. Those rains are due to start any day now. The UN knows it will then become even harder to access the more remote areas of northern Myanmar, previously known as Burma. Human Rights Watch has released a report recently alleging serious abuses by the Burmese army against Kachin civilians. The group says that it has documented incidents proving forced labour, proving targeting of civilians, torture and ill-treatment. The government denies such claims, but international leaders have called on President Ten Sen to do more to end fighting in Kachin state. Signing ceasefires with ethnic groups is one of the conditions for lifting of sanctions on the country. Doibu is a Kachin member of parliament and is hopeful talks have more chance of success now that there's a constitution and a young democracy. We need freedom for ethnic groups, she says, especially religious freedom. And we need proceeds from the natural resources being mined in the region to be shared among the people. But for now, diplomatic efforts have done little to quell the violence or allegations of abuses on both sides of this conflict. Paula Hancock's CNN, Yangon, Myanmar.